The censorship on TikTok as a worrying example of bias against voices. Uh, I'll tell you what, we, we put up um, promos on the social media platforms uh, about the interview for people to watch. And we uh, p submitted a promo to TikTok. And um, they said, well, we're going to review, we need to review this to see if it's consistent with community standards. And it was just the, t it's just the promo here. I mean, it wasn't saying let's go stone baby kittens to death or anything. Um, and usually, now I don't do a lot of this myself, I guess, but um, usually the review is like 10 seconds because it run through like an algorithm or something and make sure it doesn't have something in it, it shouldn't be there. Uh, and an hour later, which is usually like two seconds or 10 seconds, an hour later, the message came back rejected. They would not put it up. And uh, which is really disturbing to me because it was just a news promo. It's just, it was just a news promo. And, and it's not like I'm a known conspiracy wacko or something. And I've got seven or eight million followers there. So it, it's not like I'm an unknown person to them. But they wouldn't put it up because it had Trump in it. Um, they didn't even know if it was pro or con. They just, it had Trump in it. They wouldn't put it up. That's concerning to me. Um, but we put it on there because we wanted to get young people. Hey, watch this and find out who this really is. Maybe you'll hate them. And so at least you'll know it'll be based on fact. So, but yes, ma'am, stand up. And we'll get your microphone. It's hard not to agree with Dr. Phil when he highlights the problem of promotional videos being rejected simply because Donald Trump appeared in them. The importance of free speech and the need for an open, unbiased platform where all voices can be heard cannot be overstated. These incidents seem to illustrate how media and social platforms can manipulate information and control public discourse. This issue touches on personal responsibility in the pursuit of authenticity in the quest for truth. Dr. Phil's efforts to promote his interviews are seen as a way to encourage young people to form opinions based on facts, not prejudices. We commend Dr. Phil's call for viewers to watch the interview and make their own decisions. This act demonstrates the importance of individual identity and true participation in the world. The impact of perceived censorship on viewers' collective spirit is profound. The ban on these promotional videos can trigger feelings of distrust and skepticism towards social media platforms and the broader media landscape. The shock and concern expressed by Dr. Phil and his audience reveal the psychological effects of unfair treatment and the suppression of certain viewpoints. These emotions can fuel unity and determination among those who feel their voices are being silenced. 